Hello all my Hello Maniacs out there. Welcome back to the channel. It is so great to see you again. I like to move it, move it. Where is Goofy? Have you seen him anywhere? Oh, hiya there, Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, open sesame! He's everyone's favorite vampire. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, no! Mickey's number one! Oh, hi, Goofy! Oh, you're so sweet! How much money do you have? To love with my hermals! <laughs> Thank you, pal! <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Welcome, Brian Hall, to the show. Hi, Brian. Hey, it's great to be here. Yeah, I've been checking out your videos. You are incredibly talented and um, slightly crazy, maybe. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely have some craziness in there somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so how did you discover this talent that you could do these impressions and you could impersonate these cartoon characters? Well, I was 13 years old and I was watching an episode of Full House and I was seeing Joey Gladstone do all these characters. And I remember he was doing Scooby-Doo. So I thought, uh, let me see if I could do that. So then it just popped out. I'm scared. And then uh, I showed it to my friends at school. They went nuts. And then I said, hey, let's do more. And now it's my job. That is spot on. Yeah, now it's your job. When did it become like realization that this wasn't just entertaining my friends anymore, but maybe I could make a living doing this? Well, it was really from a video I made about seven years ago. It was uh, Disney and Pixar Sings Let It Go. I made that just trying to win a gift card to the Disney store. <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to see it. And now 32 million views later, I think, here I am talking to you. <laughs> wow. So did you win the gift card, I hope? I actually missed the deadline to turn it in. <laughs> Oh, God. All right. So now how many impressions do you think that you do? Who um, I know on the channel, I think I've done over a thousand by now. I, I can't necessarily say all of them are great, but I know I've attempted at least over a thousand on the channel, probably more. Wow. Who is your favorite? Well, Winnie the Pooh is one of my favorite ones to do. But then also King Julian, but nobody asks for him very much. So I bring him out whenever I can. <laughs> <laughs> and you're actually going to be starring as the voice of Dracula in Hotel Transylvania 4. And you're replacing Adam Sandler, who we know is a comedic legend. That has to be a pinch me moment. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was a crazy day when I got that call and just going into the studio to do this. I just I, I kept thinking, I'm like, no, they, they hired the wrong guy. They're going to pull me into the studio. They're going to look at my IMDb and go, oh, no, this this isn't who we hired. This this can't be the right guy. But no. And then uh, when I was doing the voice, you know, I, you know, you just get that imposter syndrome. But the, the team on that was so amazing and they were so supportive and it. It ended up being one of my favorite uh, roles that I've ever done. It was just so incredible. Brian, what's the secret to doing Dracula? There's got to be something that you draw from, or how do you get that voice? Well, with Dracula, it, it, it is a lot of fun. You know, you get to sit in this raspy place where uh, it's a raspy place in the voice. And uh, just in general, he, he's a fun-loving guy, but he's also a vampire. So you get the you get the fun, happy moments, but then you get the terrifying, monstery moments. And um, it, it's really just I feel like I'm funneling into this guy who thinks he's the most terrifying terrifying thing on the face of the earth, and he's actually just kind of a big teddy bear. So he's just he's a lot of fun to do because of that. Yeah, you definitely sound like Adam Sandler. Have you met Adam Sandler? No, I've never met him, never talked to him. So I, ho I hope he likes what I've done. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Now, do you have kids or anything or do you have nephews, nieces? I mean, I'm sure when you are around kids or anybody in your family, they want you doing these voices. Oh, yes, I've got nieces. And every time every time Uncle Brian comes in, we got to sit down and we got to read the <laughs> read him a story. And I've got to do every voice in the story. We're watching movies together and they want me to quote the character <laughs> with the movie. It's a whole thing. And they absolutely love it. All right, Brian, I got an idea. OK, I love games. I love impressions and voices. Uh, that happens to be your wheelhouse. Let's play a little game here. You give me a famous impression or cartoon character. I'll try to guess it right. You ready? All right, let's do it. Oh boy! Hi there, pal. Huh? Hi, I got. Huh? I got that one, Mickey Mouse. Yep, there you go. Great All job. Right. All right, next. Uh, bro, Maggie, I'm scared. 
<laughs> Give me a Scooby snack. You have got that laugh down perfectly. Scooby Doo. <laughs> All right. All right. Next up. Oh, hi there, pal. <laughs> oh, 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 gosh. My favorite Disney character of all time, Goofy. There you go. Oh, you're you're great at this thing. You can't pick out characters. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what else you got. <laughs> Hi, um, I live on Sesame Street, and I hang out with Big Bird and Oscar and um, Cookie Monster. <laughs> Elmo. All right. I'm 100%. All right, you got any more? There you go. Yes, I have a few more. One happens to be a bear of very little brain. Who could use a good pot of honey right now? Uh, that is... That it has to do with the Winnie the Pooh character. Correct? Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> oh, that is Winnie the Pooh. Okay. <laughs> All right, next one. All right, then after we get some honey with Pooh Bear, <laughs> you gotta come bouncing with me to the Hundred Acre Woods. That is another Winnie the Pooh character, but I'm not good with Winnie the Pooh characters. That is that the uh, is that the bear? I mean the. Uh, well, Pooh is the bear. Pooh is the bear. <laughs> what is it? The wolf? What is that? I, I don't know Winnie the Pooh that well. Uh, that one was Tigger. Tigger. Oh, and I used to love Tigger too. It's been a while since I've watched those cartoons. All right, next. Uh, that was the last one. Oh, that was it. All right, hey, I didn't do so bad. <laughs> Brian, yeah. thank you so much. Congratulations on Hotel Transylvania 4 playing Dracula. We'll be looking forward to seeing that. And for more of Brian's impressions, check him out on TikTok, on YouTube, and on his website, brianhall.co. Thanks, Brian.